Hey guys, I get a question a lot about what the first Vera tool you really should probably start with is. And I've said it for a very long time, it's pretty much the Vera tool check. And whether, whether you want metric or imperial, that's entirely up to you and your workflow. Here in the US, I pretty much have to have both. So I have multiples of these actually have three and I'll get into that in a second. Well, as time goes on, I've kind of looted these out, but they're really nice. You can see what this, what one of these will look like after you've owned it for <laughs> some years. I took the sockets and put them on a socket rail to go inside a Vera bag. This has been, the ratchet has also been put in a bag somewhere and I've got several missing bits. That just happens. You know how it is with bit sets, but if you have these too, this one here has been modified even more. I've taken off the, the screwdriver holder and all because this used to fit right in the front of, I believe, my TP4B or one bag like that. You had to take it off on one end to get it in that front pocket. And so I did that. But now I've got these nice little cases for my new one. And I got me another one that's all set up nice. So I'm hoping having a case will cause me to take, you know, a little more putting everything back in the exact same place. Plus, I've already rated about what I need. And now I have two kits that I can replenish if I lose bits out of my new ones. So the reason that I really like these is the selection that you get. If you've seen, you get all these bits and it opens up really nice like that where you can actually see what you've got. And there are a lot of things that you don't see in normal sets. Just, you know, if you run and buy a DeWalt set, something like that. This has all the security torques in it that just, it just comes with that. So if you do commercial work, if you do things like that, then you get into those uh, Torx heads or those hex heads that have a pin right in the center. And that's to keep, you know, John Public from taking apart the bathroom stalls or whatever while they're sitting there. People do this stuff, apparently. So if you have stuff like this, it can save you a trip running back to the store trying to find a set of security torques. Just having a full kit like this. It also comes with a nice set of sockets. Now, what it'll have will depend, but this is the this is the standard version, and it has a 3 16 quarter, five sixteenths, eleven thirty seconds, three eighths, seven sixteenths and half. And they're nice little Vera color coded sockets. So it also come with a little ratchet right on the top. And it is a fully functioning ratchet, has the little switch right there on it where you can go left and right. It's a pass through type head, so you end up being able to put your bits all the way down in there, which is really nice if you're trying to get in some really tight spots. We'll go ahead and grab one of these out and stick it in there and show you guys that. The bit actually comes all the way through to the back of the head there pretty much, and you end up with this tiny little ratchet that you can get into some very tight spots. And if you need a different type of handle on it, you can flip this up and you do have a screwdriver handle here. It's nowhere near as big as a normal driver handle from Vera, but it is nice to have the option. And it has a quarter inch end, so if you need, you know, if you're on a heat and air or something, you have to spin that one little self-tapper out or something, handy to have. Another thing that's right here on the top, if you slide, this has a slide right here where you can cover and lock both or you can lock one. So once you slide that over then, we already showed the ratchet, but the other end right here has the wrap adapter. And if you've not seen the wrap adapters from Vera before, they're one of the neatest uh, bit holders that you know we've really used so i've ended up adding so many of these pretty well to every bag so all you do is just put your bit here and then just press it snaps right in and it's locked you don't have any of that sticking it in a screw that's too tight and leaving your bit in there it holds very very well so these are nice they're just normal quarter inch drives so they'll pop right in this is not impact rated on this one but it will pop right in your impact and you know we're all going to do it so it'll go there it'll fit in any of like the klein handles i didn't know if i had one sitting here but it'll fit like in the quarter inch klein handles they're multi drivers it'll fit in the the vera craft form driver that has the removable shank you can pop these in there too so loads of neat options with that as well so that can also be used with the driver that's here if you need it to be a little longer 
it'll pop right in there like that and give you kind of a full length little driver deal right there so or of course you can always just push that forward they come out and it'll go in that little driver just like that so between these two it's just a neat little tiny driver ratchet set that can handle a lot of little tiny projects or appliance repair there are just so many things that just come to my mind holding this that i have dealt with using this and saved me so many hours of run to the store for that one little bit or whatever that i happen to not carry on the truck this pretty well has it has your square drives has phillips from from a phillips oh my from a phillips one there's two two phillips one two phillips twos three Phillips twos and a Phillips three. So if you put a lot of wear on your Phillips, you'll have plenty. But what that also means is you have room if you wanted to take a couple of Phillips twos out of here, one of your Phillips ones, whatever, you can make room to add some more even unique bits that you need for your work. And you can jump on KC Tool somewhere like that and you can order individual bits to go in here from them, from Vera or uh, wherever you, whatever you like they have phyllo and everything but they'll all fit in here because it's all just quarter inch bit holders so you can build this out to be exactly what you want if you don't want multiples of a bit so it's got all it's got your eighth five thirty seconds i can't even see that one three sixteenths and quarter inch in your in your allen sizes if you're going to have to use allen keys it's got at least four sizes of those right there it's got your square drives one two and three just so many neat options to save you time. And that is a big deal to me when I'm wanting to charge, you know, a premium for my services showing up on the job site. I don't want to be the one that has to run to the store and get a couple things. So being prepared, being able to just go ahead and complete the job while you're there can be really valuable. And if you just need a little bitty set, like to throw in your car, to be able to work on little stuff on the car, um, when you're camping it's all just a neat little kit to have if you grab this then maybe grab like the little quarter inch, maybe the vera 8009 that new ratchet set that came out that's also a really neat kit that covers a lot of little stuff like this so i highly recommend getting one of these as one of your first vera tool purchases because it'll just kind of build you out a quick little kit that gives you a lot of options and you also kind of get that first taste of vera quality and how all of their tools kind of work it it has so many options in one that you'll kind of get the feel for what what kind of a company you're dealing with here so it's really neat in that regard maybe grab one of these too they might even have them as a set on kc tool and then you have an extra pocket in the front where you could even add some screws that you commonly use or even more bits that you need to have with this so really neat to get i keep these a lot in my veto bags because i can just slide it right down in the front pockets or right behind those front tools in a veto bag they're just fantastic to have for all of those reasons this is just a tool that I get asked about a lot where do you start this is where i recommend you start with vera at least so get getting this and then adding on some of the zyklop ratchets with probably quarter inch drive what's neat here is once you have a set go ahead and grab you a set of the opposite in sockets or if you grab a set of this in metric and standard then you can just add on tools like that you can add on the ratcheting screwdrivers the ratchet the socket sets everything on up from there so it's just a natural little progression once you get once you get hooked we all get hooked pretty dang quick don't we but thank you guys for being here i just wanted to kind of share with you one of my favorite and most universal vera tools that i really think almost everybody needs to add to their toolbox there's just too many neat options and this one's kind of redesigned it looks to me like from these very much older ones that i've got these are probably in the five-year-old plus range that i've had i'm not sure but they used to have these clips on the back see that right there both of these actually my metric and my imperial both had the clip on the back where you could stick it on your belt or something and it looks to me like it's been completely eliminated right here and 
Man, I caught a lot of uh, I caught a lot of crap the other day on I don't remember if it was TikTok or Facebook Reels for saying Imperial. Do you guys use Imperial as what you say? Because I just really realized Vera actually puts it right on the tool check. It's Imperial. So I guess that might be why I started saying it. But anyway, a lot of people I guess really like you to just say standard and not say Imperial, but Vera's got it right on the new ones now. So thank you guys for being here. Don't forget to subscribe so you'll see every video every week. You know you love tools. We'll see you next week.